This is an interesting video um, on Gurdjieff's theory of the three bodies from a physics of psychology perspective. So, um, I don't know how familiar people watching this might be with Gurdjieff's theories and ideas, but he had the theory that human beings could, through transformation of sexual fluids and absorption of other substances, specifically, I, I think, gases, um, that one could form bodies in addition to the physical body that would presumably have other properties, faculties, and persist uh, physical death. Now, um, I've done a lot of videos, uh, Physics of Psychology, Magnetome Project, uh, things under the the... YouTube name of Ninpo Warrior G and so I've been developing a lot of different ways of looking at these kind of things and I think that I have a better grasp or beginning to have a grasp of what he was actually getting at and what he was saying um, even though I'm not 100% and so what you have is you have what he called the planetary body which is composed of solids and liquids and in this particular instance uh, he had this this theory of three forces active passive and reconciling um, and so in that sense the the solids are passive the liquids are active and the gases that we breathe in are reconciling so I don't know if you can see that but they're kind of between the two reconciling them now that's just our physical body it's composed of liquids and solids at the end of our life it's done but there's presumably a potential for another body which Gurdjieff called the Kesgen or astral body um, and this one would presumably be composed of it would be very similar to the uh, liquid in solid body but it would be composed of gases and plasmas so it would be a gaseous plasma body and my basic theory of it would be at, as it stands right now is that the gases would be uh, passive uh, the, the plasmas would be active and that then you would have electricity would be the reconciling force between those two so now, if you look at it, if you look at this, the uh, physical body, it's liquid, solid, act active, and passive, and then be the reconciling is the gases. In this case, it would be electricity, I think. I'm not sure about that. It could, it could be light, though. It's one or the other. Now, that's the second body right there. Okay, that would be the second. So you have the first body, second body. Now, the third body is kind of where it gets kind of interesting because you're getting a body that would be composed basically of the fundamental forces of existence not just substances so you would have a body composed of magnetism and electricity so the the passive part of that would be this would what Gurdjieff called the soul essentially the passive part would be electricity the active part would be magnetism and I think the the reconciling part would be light so this is just a basic theory. Um, so you see there you have an electrical part, a magnetic part, and then a reconciling light part. In this one it's not as clear, but you have a you know a gaseous part, a plasma part, a reconciling of electricity. In this one you have a solid part, liquid part, reconciling of gases. So it's just a step in a direction of trying to get clear on precisely what Gurdjieff was saying about these three bodies. So that's about it. Thanks.